Dear students, in this module, we shall discuss the facilitated diffusion. That is a type of diffusion that occurs with the help of transport proteins. The principles of diffusion, that is passiveness and concentration gradient, also apply to this type of diffusion. This type of diffusion facilitates the movement of polar substances and many ions across the membrane. The transport proteins that are involved in facilitated diffusion are very specific. They transport some substances but not all. There are two types of transport proteins involved in facilitated diffusion. The first one are the channel proteins and the second are carrier proteins. The channel proteins are the integral proteins of the membrane that extend across the two surfaces of the membrane. They are comparatively large. Their one end faces the extracellular end of the plasma membrane and the inner end faces the intracellular surface of the membrane. So they extend across the membrane. In proteins ke under small pores hote hain, jo water filled rehte hain, aur in pores ko membrane channels kehte hain. Ye membrane channels hain, jin ke wajah se ions ya other molecules membrane ko cross kar lete hain. These pores are not very large. They are very small and are often less than 1 nanometer in diameter. These membrane channels have the capacity to open or close. Their opening and closing is regulated. Polar substances can pass through these channels only when they are open. The channel proteins are of two major types. One are the water channel proteins and the second type include the ion channel proteins. In addition to these two, there are many specialized proteins which also function as membrane channels. First, we shall discuss the water channel proteins, which are commonly known as aquaporins. Aquaporins facilitate the diffusion of water molecules and small ions, for example, sodium, potassium, calcium, and chloride in their dissolved form. In water channel proteins, may be hydrophilic channels ya passageways hote hain jin ki madad se water molecules aur ions dissolved form mein quickly move kar jate hain the ion channel proteins have gated channels that open or close in response to an electrical or chemical stimulus when their gates are open, they allow specific ions to move through them. Ion channel proteins ki jo examples hain, unme voltage gated channels aate hain. Voltage gated channels mein jo bohat active channels hain, voltage gated sodium channel, voltage gated potassium channel or voltage gated calcium channels hain. Iske ilawa, channel proteins mein ligand gated ion channels bhi aate hain. Membrane ke paas kuch specialized proteins hoti hain jo ke facilitate karti hain kuch aise small molecules or uncharged polar molecules ko jo ke arm diffusion se, simple diffusion se cross nahi kar sakte. For example, carbon dioxide, nitric oxide or carbon monoxide in ke liye specialized channel proteins mojood hain. 
in addition to channel proteins the facilitated diffusion is also carried out by special transport proteins called carrier proteins many substances that are polar and cannot be transported either by simple diffusion or by ion channels they are transported through carrier proteins such molecules include many sugars amino acids nucleotides and certain metabolites carrier proteins are also very specific about the species of molecules they facilitate to diffuse carrier proteins are present in all types of membranes there are two major functional forms of these carrier proteins first are the uniporters and second are the coupled transporters coupled transporters are also of two types symporters and antiporters यूनिपोर्टर्स ऐसी प्रोटीन्स हैं जो सिंगल सॉल्यूट को मेम्ब्रेन की एक साइड से दूसरी साइड तक ट्रांसपोर्ट करती हैं जबकि कपल ट्रांसपोर्टर्स दो सॉल्यूट्स को ट्रांसफर करने की सलाहियत रखती हैं इधर साइमल्टेनियसली यानी कि बयाकवक दो सॉल्यूट्स को ट्रांसफर करें या फिर सिक्वेंशली यानी कि वन बाई वन करें कपल ट्रांसपोर्टर्स दो टाइप्स के होते हैं सिम्पोर्टर्स दैट ट्रांसफर टू सॉल्यूट्स इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एंड एंटीपोर्टर्स दैट ट्रांसफर टू सॉल्यूट्स इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शंस द ट्रांसपोर्ट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ दीज कैरियर प्रोटीन्स डिपेंड्स ऑन देयर कैपेसिटी टू अल्टरनेट बिटवीन टू कन्फर्मेशन they have a solute binding site that can sequentially translocate from one side of lipid bilayer to the other is tarah ki translocation protein ki shape mein tabdili ki wajah se hoti hai jo ke jab solute ka molecule bind karta hai protein ke molecule ke sath to iski shape mein tabdili aati hai jo ke agar ek end एक वक्त में आउटर सरफेस के ऊपर मौजूद था तो उस शेप की चेंज की वजह से अपोजिट एंड की तरफ चला जाता है दिस हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ द बाइंडिंग एंड रिलीजिंग ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेड मॉलिक्यूल्स